Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos, and in this video, Pinterest for Business, we're going to look at uh, a neglected feature of, of uh, Pinterest, but an important one. If you go back to your profile and you look at the options here, we have account settings. Let's take a look at the account settings and I'll give you some of my recommendations about what to change. Account settings. And like every other network, it's in various sections, but you're going to have your email address, you can change your password, what language and country do you want to be set up as, business type, remember we set this up in the first video, here's where we can change it. Search privacy, keep search engines such as Google from showing your Pinterest profile in search results. The default is no. I want the search engines like Google, Bing, Yahoo, to find my public uh, Pinterest profile because I want more traffic to my profile and ultimately my site. Personalization. We sometimes show you promoted pins and recommendations based on your activity on Pinterest. Is it okay if we also use sites you visited recently and also use info from our ad partners? So ads are a fact of life on this social network, like most of them, but what you can control is how would you like them to market to you. So you could turn those on or off. There's no bearing on how you use your the service. Uh, so you can have them both yes or both no or either or. Then we have a section on profile. Here's where you can change your business name and your about you and all of that stuff. Notifications. Now in the beginning you're going to get a lot of notifications, too many than you than you might want. So look at these options here very carefully. When you're on Pinterest, get notifications from everyone or only people you follow. So again, I want to know who's interacting with me especially since I'm a new account, so I want to get notifications from everyone. I can get email notifications, yes or no. If I turn it off completely, I'm going to miss a lot of stuff, so I don't recommend that. Instead, fine-tune it. Get heads up when someone pins your pin, likes your pin, follows you. I would leave this on because again, you want to know, you want to be in the know who is interacting with me. But you might want to set it to once a day so you don't get 20 emails. And again, if you get any comments, if they send you a message, anyone you know joins Pinterest. So if you connected your Facebook or other account, you'll know if they join Pinterest. If you get asked a question about your pin, you probably want to answer it. Um, answers questions you asked or liked. Uh, so if someone else answers the question and someone likes and invites you to join, so basically leave all of these on, but to save your sanity, change it to once a day. We'll also let you know about price changes to your pins, stuff you might like. These you might want to turn off. Uh, this, you might feel it's spammy, but I would say leave it on for a week, see how you like it, and then go in and change it. Maybe I don't uh, want this weekly inspiration. I want to log in and find things out from my own. I can get notifications on my phone via text messages and such. You can do that if you want. You can connect um, your other networks, such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, so that you can log in with those accounts. That's optional. You can connect your Gmail or Yahoo or whatever account and again log in with them and do other things. I don't have any apps at the moment. And then I may deactivate my account from that screen. If you make any changes, make sure you save. And so it's important to look at these settings, which you find again from your profile picture. Click on your name and then the options here. So in our next video, we'll talk about, okay, I have a uh, liked content, interacted with content. How do I produce my own content? Come back on the next video.